Hi everyone, it's me, Krillius, Team Racing Productions co-host and moderator. And I'm Carol Mitchell, Team Racing Productions co-host and moderator. Joining us is Jacques Patterson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us. Before we talk about your 2024 re-election campaign for at-large member of the DC State Board of Education, please tell viewers a little about your background and who you are. Sure, thank you. Again, thank you for having me. I'm Jacques Patterson. I'm a proud resident of Ward 8. Um, I have two children who currently attend DCPS schools, and I also have a daughter that's a teacher that's in Ward 8 in the ward that we live in. Um, I'm the incumbent currently. I've served four years on the State Board of Education, and it's just been the, the labor of love of my lifetime to just really work with um, not only my personal ward, but the city at large of addressing um, some of the issues that are going on in our city about public education. Awesome, awesome. So please let us know, tell our viewers about the position for which you are running and why you want to be reelected. Sure. Um, it's, it's awesome to serve families um, around public education because as we know, um, public education provides lifetime opportunities for our families. And so I'm running for the at-large positions. The State Board of Education is an advisory position. Um, we do not have fiduciary responsibilities or anything of that nature. Our biggest thing is our bully pulpit. I love to advocate for those who have been marginalized or underserved. And so I get to serve the whole city, although I'm a resident of the uh, Ward 8, um, I get to her serve the whole entire city um, across all eight wards. And so I'm just running for re-election. That's great. Um, thanks for sharing that information. So can you dig a little bit deeper and tell us what are your top three issues? Yes, I appreciate that question. Um, my top three issues, I want to continue some of the work that we have done previously. Um, I want to make sure that uh, recently we instituted some things um, some new standards, whether they're social study standards, which we've just done. We've also done financial literacy standards, and we also did social emotional learning standards. I think we need to finish the work that uh, come out of all the, just the, the problems that we faced during the pandemic. There was a lot of learning loss during that particular time. So I wanna make sure that we are addressing those issues, getting those things um, that we have implemented, those standards implemented, but also making up the learning loss. Um, it's gonna be important that we have um, high intensity tutoring for our students that needed the most that lost a lot during the um, the pandemic and fell behind. Um, and then also some of the other things that I would like to really focus on is mental health coming out of the pandemic. Um, I believe we need to make sure that we're addressing that and some of our out of school time activities so that we can address safety issues. Thank you for that. Thanks so much for sharing. Now you're an incumbent. What are some of the noteworthy accomplishments in your first term and why are you the best choice for voters this year? Well, I ran um, first and foremost is because um, we have a school report card and it is um, how we look at our schools and how we judge our schools. We want to make sure that um, parents have the best knowledge about our schools. And so I ran on that ticket. And I think us being able to revise that, we had a system where we were rating schools by stars. And we don't want to rate our schools like they're restaurants, you know, because they're more, they're much more than that. And so we took away the stars. We put in metrics that were very important about growth and about proficiency rates and what's best about schools, what's, what's positive about schools so that parents can see what's going on in schools and make critical decisions about what's the best fit for them. So that is, to me, is my biggest accomplishments. I think I've mentioned some other things that we did with other standards, but it really was revising the report card that, um, you know, is, is the thing that I really ran on. And I think I'm the best person to continue that work as the incumbent because there's still the part of implementing it and making sure that every school understands how to do that. And I don't think anyone new would truly understand the nuances to make this work for both sides of the fence, both traditional schools and the charter schools. Okay, great. I mean, that's really interesting. And I'm sure that the voters or our listeners are also interested in what would love to know when does voting begin? When does voting begin? Yes. So our voting really begins. We have early voting that starts as early as October. I think it's October 28th and it goes through November 3rd. 
um, right before and the election day is November 5th. So the 28th, you can start voting. Awesome. So please, for those of our listeners out there, make sure that you take a note of that because it's really, really important to vote. So let our viewers who are listening know how they can learn more about you and how to support your campaign. All right. And I and I welcome everyone who could possibly help out. And I mean, this is a people parent power campaign. You can go to www. J A C Q U E for D C the number four dot com. And that's our website. It's live. It'll allow you to click on to become a volunteer, to donate, um, to learn more about our campaign, why we're continuing this, why I want to run for re-election, um, the work that I'm inspired to do, who we've been touching. And um, we will contact you right back. You put your information in there, you will hear from us immediately. Okay, that's great. So to our viewers, please look in the description below for links. And thank you so much for spending time with us. Well, I really appreciate the time that you guys gave us so much. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. To those watching, please follow Team Racing on social media and click around our YouTube channel and subscribe. And viewers, thank you for watching. <laughs>